there may be a little poor visibility for our online classmates but uh, you have to bear with me few questions uh, typist didn't uh, put in powerpoint okay what was your uh, examiner's answer oh he is linozolid but i'll tell you another story about linozolid linozolid is not altered by the changes in the gfr but linozolid produces toxic metabolites toxic metabolites which are affected by the renal failure so that is the, that is the one caution about linozolid so linozolid could be answered but why not moxifloxacin moxifloxacin there is no dosage adjustment which is required for the moxifloxacin in the people who had uh, renal dysfunction and it can be given comfortably in order to treat the uh, for the same purpose vancomycin is given so both uh, linozolid and uh, moxifloxacin that way I, I am also aware about uh, linozolid becoming the answer but linozolid there is one caveat which is uh, debatable and uh, it is uh, uh, it can be debated very much uh, what is the examiner's answer on type 1 mpgn partial hypodystrophy is a mpgn type 2 wala feature so we read a lot about mpgn ultimately causes of mpgn we didn't guess type 1 mpgn may you have got uh, it is uh, hcv hbv hiv bacterial endocarditis collagen vascular diseases malignancy they are all implicated gentle man differs from barter gentle man is like what uh, we studied uh, taking a diuretic it's like fruzamide right then uh, was the examiner answer was neuromuscular signs and symptoms answer given by the examiner is less common you mean gentle man except question or straight question this is except no he means to say gentle man is more common barter is usually prior to 5 years of age barter may cramps of weakness in the muscles results from the hypokalemia and uh, some of them will have uh, uh, convulsions and tetany sorry that uh, powerpoint our type is ran away uh, unable to bear in the last moment so both barter and gentleman barter is clinically more severe and it lead to growth retardation and uh, clinical manifestations of uh, are more uh, of the more frequent gentleman examiner said what less common as the answer eh? which one is less common he said according to the examiner no huh which is true in fact gentleman is my clinical manifestations of the more frequent gentleman syndrome is mild that means examiner is correct no, then, a is correct. then a is correct examiner is only correct because but uh, uh, examiner is only correct that uh, gentleman is more common so option a is correct no doubt eh? no discontent about it but the point is hypokalemia being common to both of them both of them can cause neuromuscular dysfunction agreeable so we need correction of our key eh? all right no problem ultimately the question is that of uh, what is truth what is the examiner's answer tolthopon parkinson's disease drug sitna padne ke baad which is hepatotoxicity who will care so it is the cruelest form of question no way then non tuberculous mycobacterial infection associated with the esophageal dysmotility examiner gave fortuitium Oh no 
Esophageal motility disorders such as echelasia have been found in association with only disease caused by rapidly growing non tuberculous mycobacterium, which is mycobacterium fortigium. Google will be crying badly. Right? Then, the antiviral drug which is active against uh, all of them HBV, HIV, HSV, CMV, POX. What was the examiner's answer? Good. At least we and the examiner are uh, coinciding on this. There is one table, doctor. Pseudofovir, adifovir, tinofovir. Between different viruses, in two marks, where are they? Who will know? Unless paper is leaked for them. Very difficult. 